Francisco is great because there's so much art here. You can go to all of these beautiful places with your friends. This is a science project created by artists. Really? Yeah. Yes. I can hear the waves. Yeah. We all met in science club and every week we do these crazy experiments. Ammonia water, ammonium hydroxide, cleaning, pharmaceuticals, smelling salts, aromatic spirits of ammonia. I'm Emma. And I'm Caitlin. I'm Michelle. I'm Erin. I'm Peter. And this, this is our science club. I love science. I've been around science my whole life. I like science, but I like art too. I like art and sketching because there's no limits or boundaries and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Our science club teacher gave us a challenge that combines science and art. Our challenge was to make a colorful art exhibit without paint. No paint! No paint? No paint! No paint! No paint! No paint! We couldn't use paint. <laughs> Mr. Austin said that instead of making an experiment or a robot, that we're going to make an art project using no paint. How are we supposed to make an art project without paint? Oh yeah, we're a science club. Well, you can make colored stuff light. Yeah, I saw that kind of stuff at the Exploratorium. We headed to the Exploratorium for research. They have exhibits on light and color. I am sure that we will find something here at the Exploratorium that will help us. There were so many different displays on light, motion, and color. Wow, cool! Yeah. Cool. Cool. Shadows are usually black, but this crazy wall showed us how to make colored shadows. If you want to make a colored shadow, you start with colored light. You shine them onto a white wall. If you block one of the colored lights, the color in the shadow changes. Oh, this is wow, so cool! Look, how'd you do that? The wand was kind of confusing at first. If you held the wand in front of the projector, you could only see a little bit of the picture. But if you waved the wand really fast, it acted like a giant wand and bounced the light from the whole picture. You can see the whole thing. Oh, cool. This is, look, cool. look at all these mini rainbows. We learned that you can make colors of light by bending them through certain kinds of plastic or glass. The exhibits at the Exploratorium were all really cool, and we learned a lot of stuff to help us with our art project. We learned that you can mix light, bounce light, and bend light. Now that you are ready for your second lesson, let us look back and see what were the most important things you have learned from your first lesson. Bounce it! Bend it! Mix it! has really great traits. Ishelle's great trait is that she can make us all laugh and smile and keep us going. And then Peter's great trait is that he's really smart and he's good at science. And Aaron's good trait is that he's really creative and he can think up of great ideas for us to work on. And then Caitlin's great trait is that she's a good leader and she can keep our group organized so we don't go all goofy. <laughs> We met up at Science Club a week later to start working on our art room. We took our research that we learned at the Exploratorium and tried it out on our own. Okay, that looks pretty good. We made our own color shadow wall. We started with four lamps, red, blue, green, and yellow. We wanted to make a purple shadow, so we started with red and blue, like we would in painting. When we shined those two lights on the wall, we got a purple wall. But our shadows were either red or blue, not purple. The rules of mixing light are totally different than mixing paint. We thought we could get a purple shadow from a red and blue lamp, but we were wrong. We tried adding the yellow lamp to the other two. This made the whole wall look like a kind of light blue, but we finally got a purple shadow. At the Exploratorium, we learned that you could see a picture from a projector without having a completely solid screen. All you need is a part of a screen that moves really fast. We found a cool polka dot pattern and a projector to project it with. We experimented with wands of all different shapes and colors to see which would work the best. We discovered that a dark wand didn't bounce light as well as a light wand. Let me try this one. It's kind of like the one at the Exploratorium. Yeah, that one works really well. Bending light to make colors was a challenge. We already had some practice at the Exploratorium, 
but we also knew that you have to get the light to go through the prism glass at just the right angle to get the best rainbow. We tried bending light with the little prism, we tried with the big water prism, we couldn't get any rainbows we liked. We also tried other shiny things. Finally, we found a different kind of plastic to send the light through. We found some sheets of rainbow film, like the stuff that's in rainbow glasses. When light goes through the film, it bends and you get awesome rainbows. So, we had figured out how to mix light, how to bounce light, and how to bend light. Now, it was time to add some finishing touches and enjoy our art exhibit. Yellow pink and it's yellow. It's all different colors. Ooh, it's CDs and they're all rainbowy. Ooh. We added other neat light effects like CD rainbows. That's so cool. We thought that the thin white one worked the best. We found the rainbow paper and we made a really cool rainbow. Oh, oh my god, god. that is so cool. cool. I know. That's so cool. And if you move the paper together, the rainbow gets smaller. And if you move it apart, it gets bigger. Whoa, dude, that's cool. <laughs> it's like a team effort. We all made this room. Yeah. Really Two, cool. three, yay! Let's take a picture of this for Mr. Ross so you can see us in. Oh, yeah, I totally. Yeah, totally. Okay. Four, three, two, one, cheese!